Welcome everybody to the final episode of the conclusion for Life is Strange True Colors. <gasps> and yet again, we wake up in the mineshaft. <laughs> for the second time, we survive a fall. I guess somebody up there likes us a lot. <laughs> There's still the tiny problem, though. How the heck do we get out? Step one, get some light. Oh, it's gonna be the final match that we kept from uh, Gabe. Yes. <laughs> nice. There was a hopeful message inside this matchbox. I don't remember what it is. Maybe we'll see it. Man, she can barely move. How is she going to traverse an entire mine? Oh, come on, match. And the journey begins to the surface. Also, let's not forget there are secrets buried down here. Something that Typhon didn't want us to find out. And I'm guessing we will, despite all their efforts. out of here this is eerily quiet in here jeez and very very dark man you cannot even see half a step in front of you so dark is this. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Come on, no, 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 no. I can do this. I can do this. I just had to open my mouth and talk about the darkness, didn't I? That's what you get, I guess. From almost dark to complete dark. How are we gonna get out of this? Oh, something's glowing. Okay, that's something. That is mighty interesting. There seems to be feelings buried down here. Because that's the only thing that could emit light for Alex. Aura is the only lead I've got. Oh, maybe this leads to the secret. I'm intrigued. All right, so my guess is there have been uh, people murdered, buried rather down here. All right, boys, getting close. Hell divers for life, huh, Jed? Dig so deep, we see where the devil sleeps. Goddamn right. This is it. This is what Typhon tried to bury. And Jed was the leader of a group down here, it seems. Interesting. A lot of runoff moisture in this soil. Jed, we gotta call it. This dig is fucked. Nothing's fucked. Jed, we got no pumps running. No, my teams have never quit a dig this deep before. We finish the job. Oh boy. I guess Jed's hubris cannot lead to anything good. Let's see what happened. Steady goes. Steady. Fuck was... Move! Come on! Clear the tunnel! Who's on radio? Jed! Fuck! Jed! Jed! Oh my god. 
Oh boy. I'm guessing the uh, tunnels flooded and people started screaming for Jet's help. Actually, you can still hear them. I'm gonna be quiet. Oh wow. People were buried here, I guess. We gotta move now! There's still men back there. They'll drown. Yeah, and so will we if we don't get the fuck out. Make the call, Jed. God damn it. God damn it. Everyone, let's go now. Well, well. I'm guessing hero Jed actually is proving to have been coward Jed. Can't say that's not a plot twist I expected. Still, the uh, question remains, why can Alex sense this thing even? Where is her red guiding light coming from? Smells like fireworks. Must be where Typhon blew the charges. It must be something important to her. Or some deep buried feelings or something. And it is a single object. What could it be? Oh boy. That means... Dad. Exactly. Her father had that. Which means... Is her father buried here? Was their father one of the miners that died down here? Jed! Come back! Jed, you son of a bitch! And indeed. Chen, you gotta stop, man. Mr. Chen. Jed! Fuck you, Chen! Come back! It's over, Chen. He's not coming back. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. So the hero that is perceivably Jed left Alex's father to die? Oh boy. Now she has two reasons to hate the guts of him. He killed her father and in trying to cover that up tried to kill Alex herself as well. All right, it's time to let the truth shine by going back to town, I guess. Walking ever so slowly. Jed, look and hero we raise our drinks to. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think he deserves that. Not now that we know the truth. And soon everybody else is also gonna learn the truth, I guess. BL closed Black Lantern, I'm guessing, for a council meeting. During my time here, I've come to realize what makes Haven so special. It's a flower shop run by multiple generations. A bar owner who greets every customer by name. And a gun. It's a spring festival tradition going back a hundred years. History, loyalty, pride. These values which define Haven are the same values that Typhon was built on. And that is why our partnership has been so successful. It's been my privilege to renew Typhon's commitment to Haven. We believe in this community and we're tremendously excited for its future. Lots of empty words there. Thank you, Diane. 
I think I speak for all of us when I say we're eager to make this official. So, time to vote, folks. And then lunch. Lunch can wait, Jed. The truth takes precedence. <laughs> time for you to face it, buddy. Let's see you get out of this. Alex! Oh my god! I'm fine. You are not fine. We have to get you to a doctor. What happened to you? Oh boy. Am I going to tell you a story about what happened? I'm going to be okay. This will be hard to hear. Actually, he's his son, so this will be indeed very hard to hear. I found out something you need to hear. I'm sorry. What? Take a seat, Ryan. Alex, you're hurt. <sighs> Do you need help? We can call an ambulance. Typhon's been lying to all of you. <sighs> and so has Jed Lucan. Most of all. Alex, what's going on? Oh, screw you, man. <laughs> <laughs> F you or don't pretend. Actually, let's not lose credibility by swearing. I'm gonna keep this smile. Don't pretend, man. You know exactly what's going on. Oh, those puppy eyes. I was down in the mine last night. I saw what Typhon's been hiding for 12 years. Jed Lucan isn't a hero. That whole story is a lie. Jed caused the accident. And then he abandoned seven of his men. He let them drown to save himself. My father included. Not forget that. There were pictures of me and Gabe down there in the dirt. Because one of those miners was my father. Yes, Jed. You tried to kill me after you killed my father, man. Typhon wanted to keep this covered up. In case it jeopardized the vote. They're afraid or they're ruthless. Let's go with they're ruthless. All they care about is making more money. They'll do whatever it takes to push this expansion through. So they decided to bury the evidence. And nothing was going to stop that blast. Not even the fact that there were four people up in the mountains. That's how Gabe was killed. Jed knew all along. He covered up the truth about the past, about Gabe. And when I found out, as you can see, he tried to kill me too. What a hero Jed turns out to be. As everybody's awfully silent. Shocked, I guess. Why aren't any of you saying anything? We don't want to embarrass you, Alex. Oh, shut up. Especially you. Not embarrassed, didn't ask you. Let's go with not embarrassed. Try me. These accusations are... Well, they're insane. And trying to go into the mine was obviously a very dangerous, very illegal thing to do. Oh, who cares about illegal? Come on. But we all sympathize with your situation. You've been through so much. Your brother was your only family, wasn't he? I can only imagine how much you want an explanation for his loss. Something to give you comfort and make your life seem less unfair. Man, that woman makes my skin crumble. I know you have a conscience. You suppress the evidence. Jeez, you suppress the evidence. Let's go with facts. You know there's proof of the cover-up. You had Pike arrest me to suppress the evidence. Officer Pike arrested you for stealing items from my purse. Perhaps you were looking for evidence? And I found it. Which is why you and Jed tried to threaten me into silence. Dad? Do you have any idea what Alex is talking about? No, I don't. I've tried to be there for Alex since Gabe died. 
I thought, I don't know. I hoped I could be something of a father figure to her. Oh, jeez. All I can guess is, sometimes when we're hurting, the people we lash out at are the ones who were trying to help. You keep lying to yourself, man. You keep lying. Exactly, you're lying or you're a monster. Once again, let's not lose credibility by uh, saying anything rash. Let's just go with facts. You're lying. This is an act. You're lying. Please. I know this is hard to accept. You all trust him. I did too, but I'm telling the truth. I believe you. Of course I do. All right, we got one vote of support. How about the rest? Anybody gonna say anything? I believe you too. I'm horrified and shocked and still processing everything, but I believe you. All right. I guess we are gathering support now. Interesting. I would like to speak. This young lady came to Haven as a stranger. But over the last few weeks, she's become one of us. Now, her story certainly seems unlikely if not impossible. But she deserves at least an investigation of her claims. We ought to take her seriously. Yes, jeez, thank you, finally. Somebody take Alex serious. I agree with Ducky. I've always found Alex to be a very trustworthy person. Thank you, Eleanor. She wouldn't make these accusations lightly. Something must have happened. Miss Lath, there's no actual evidence of anything. Oh, but there is. Maybe not. But that's what I think. There is evidence. We have a USB stick full of it. Come on, Pike. Stand up, men. Actually, Diane, there is evidence. Finally, yes. Oh, for fuck's sake. Have a USB stick full of recordings. Yes. We went through this yesterday. Your superiors closed the case. None of us have time for conspiracies. Oh, she's trying to scare him off. You're trying to weasel your way out of things again, huh? I know your game. I know Don't how test you... me, Jason. <laughs> you know what? I'm not scared of you anymore. Yes. And hey, not of you? Not Typhon? All right, that's enough. Deputy... We took his fear away, and now he's proceeding with the evidence. Nice. I knew that the decision would pay off. You should probably remove your I knew it. The crap. If you think you could show oh, man, Ryan's got to be devastated right now. His own father, a murderer. You believe me? Or I'm sorry. No, we are indeed very sorry. It's his father. This is a load. I'm really sorry. And what's the important matter here? I'm not your lapdog anymore. Deputy Pike, I am not responsible for before. any frustrations you feel I'm in your career. I'm going first thing. Wow, he's actually taking it rather well. I mean, he's shocked and all, but he believes us. Dad. Please. Come clean. We'll figure it out together. It amazes me. The extent to which she has manipulated you. Come on, Dad. Never in a million years. Come on. I hate seeing you do this. Come clean, Jed. My own son. Dad. My own goddamn son! Stop. Oh. Alex intervening? And she is focusing on Jed. This is bound to be interesting. Let's make the truth come out. 
of Jed. Time stands still. I know why you tried to kill me. It's not what you tell yourself. That you thought it was best for Haven. This was never about Haven at all, was it? This was about you. I know it's easier not having to think about the men you buried. You want to look away and pretend the people you hurt aren't people. But I won't let you. My father worked for you. His name was John. Oh, and now I bet we have to force Jed into some kind of an emotional reaction. He was a screw-up, he was a victim, he was a fighter. Our dad was. Let's go with the most emotional one. He was a fighter. And you killed him, Jed. The world never gave him anything for free. He fought just to stay alive. He fought for us. Maybe he was finally winning. But you killed him. And then Gabe, my big brother. He was building a family, starting over, and was happy. Once again, what's the most emotional one? I think building a family will speak to Jed's heart. Let's go for that. He was building a family here, doing it his own way, figuring it out as he went along. He was so nervous about it and so excited. And he brought me here to be part of that family. But he died. Because of you. And then there's me. For so many years, I just wanted to survive. To get through. Haven changed me. I started to think about the future. I wanted to belong, to play music, or to help people. Now obviously the first choice is the most emotional one. I wanted somewhere to belong. I want to belong somewhere. I want to know that there's a place and a group of people who wouldn't be the same without me. I was starting to feel that here. And you tried to murder me. You would have ended my life just so you wouldn't have to face the truth. You've forgotten it, haven't you? You've plastered over it with another story. Which is that you're a good man or that you're a hero. I think it will hurt him more if we say he's not a good man anymore. You tell yourself you're a good man. You take care of so many people. You gave me a roof and a job. You checked on me when I was grieving. Such a good, generous man. But that's the lie. If you scrape it away, what do we see? That you're a pawn, that you're a coward or selfish. He obviously thinks himself of some kind of hero. So let's go for the opposite of a hero, which is a coward. Eleven years ago, you led a group of men to their deaths. And you couldn't even say those words out loud. Because you're a coward. You couldn't imagine saying it to your wife. 
saying it in front of your son. Every day you were brave enough to go underground and look death in the eye. But you couldn't muster the courage to admit a mistake. I can feel you trying to pull away. Don't. The truth hurts. Sometimes it's so awful you think you're gonna break. But when you come out the other side and you're whole and free and still alive, then you'll finally know how strong you really are. I see the truth about you. You hate yourself. You hate what you did in the past. You hate what you've done to keep it secret. And the more you deny that hatred, the worse it grows. who you are. I've seen the worst parts of you. And I forgive you or I condemn you. I think condemning them is something he's definitely scared of. But since he hates himself, since he, uh, I guess, can't forgive himself, maybe somebody else forgiving him unexpectedly for the first time. Maybe that actually breaks him. Let's forgive Jed. And I forgive you. So the truth came out, I guess. This is probably the next morning, the morning after. Let's see what the aftermath is of, I'm guessing, Jed's confession. And the news is still coming in on the Titan mining scandal that has rocked the western slope town of Haven Springs, where a council meeting was the scene for shocking revelations. Local bar owner and council president Jed Lucan admitted in a tearful confession to covering up the deaths of seven Typhon employees as their manager 12 years ago. A recent cover-up, which involved a clandestine and unpermitted explosion to thwart inspections, caused the death of Haven local Gabe Chen last month. Mr. Lucan is currently in police custody awaiting arraignment. We will have plenty more about this developing story, including the resignation of Typhon CEO, the market impact, and what it all means for your drive time commute coming right up. Yep. I'm guessing that is a good end, but still not satisfactory for Alex. Yeah. The silence is worse. I need to get some air. I mean, she took revenge, but revenge is not a fulfilling emotion. I'm summoning all my strength and willpower. I'm now ready to move from the bed to the rooftop. Up we go. But not before we answer the door, apparently. Hey, Steph. Alex, wait. Before you say anything, I have to get this out. Okay. What you did at the council meeting, it was the bravest thing I've ever seen. And it made me want to be brave too. So, here it goes. I want to be with you. Yes. I don't give a shit about playing music or seeing the world. I mean, I do, but only if it's with you. And if you'd rather stay here instead, then... <sighs> Fuck it. 
I want to stay here too. Oh, nice. Your ticket, that was amazing. So we're gonna get a choice, I guess, whether we stay or leave. I've never had anyone barge in to tell me that they wanted to be with me before. Yeah? How'd it feel? Obviously very good. You've, uh, given me a lot to think about. Well, good. That was the idea. You know where to find me. Good luck, Chen. Thanks, Steph. So it seems we're gonna get a romantic ending. That is much better than getting revenge. The rooftop is, I guess, where we decide. I'm guessing the decision is gonna be to stay or to leave. No way we're separated from Steph anymore, she said. She will follow us. All right. Just tell me. What? My future. What to do? The night of the Spring Fest, Steph made a strong push for leaving with her. Playing on the road. The excitement of the unknown. Seeking adventure is the one choice. Of course. That was before all the shit went down. <laughs> Come on, you're the know-it-all. So tell me. <laughs> Actually, I do know what you should do. You should stay in Haven. Oh, you're right. Or be really. Let's actually ask the question. I mean, that's probably what I'd prefer, but... You really think so? Of course. You finally have a home, a job, people who actually like you. Why would you give that up? That's true. That is true. I would like to stay here, I think. <sighs> then again, maybe leaving would be better. What? You're young, you suddenly have a little money, friends. And don't you think it's time to give this music thing a real shot? No, you should definitely leave. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Stop it, Gabe. I don't need the mysterious spirit bullshit right now. I just need... To decide. I just need my big brother. I'm sorry. I know. You're gonna have to make that choice on your own, Alex. But here's something. It's three hours from now. A bus pulls away. You're not on it. And neither is Steph. Life goes on. You get a job working with Steph at the record store. All those years of being a music snob finally pay off. And little by little, time does its thing. The apartment starts to feel less like a museum and more like a home.
thoughts of Jed, of Typhon, even of me, begin to fade into the background. Community run establishment. Nice. So the Black Lantern doesn't fade away. The community keeps it going. Riley's back. Charlotte has found a new romantic interest, as she deserves. And Eleanor is still there, hopefully sane. And of course the gang is all together, playing Dungeons and Dragons, LARPs and what have you. The game is not important, I guess. Being together with everybody is probably more. And of course, Steph and Alex. The rooftop is your stage. You perform every week to a small but adoring group of fans. Maybe while you play, you wonder what could have been. Performing for more people in more cities, sharing your music with the world, Or maybe you never think about that much at all. You don't know exactly when it happens, but one day you look around and find that you have transformed this place just as much as it has transformed you. And the most extraordinary thing of all is just how normal it feels. You don't question it, you don't doubt it, or wonder what might have been. It's your life, the life you fought so hard to have. And for the first time in a long time, you just live. Thank you. Don't mention it. You really think I'll transform Haven? Of course, you already have. With your gift, your music, just by being you. But Alex, that doesn't mean you have to stay. You have the potential to do that anywhere you go. Do what or go where? Where would you have me go, brother? Where am I supposed to go? I don't have any other home. That is true. But you didn't have any home before coming here. And look what happened. And that is true as well, I guess. The truth is, there's no telling what that version of your future might be. The only promise is the adventure. So? What do you think? And the final choice for the game. Stay in Haven, seek adventure. I'm thinking Alex. Going through foster homes and whatnot has had enough adventure in her life. And her own dream was actually to put down roots someplace. So this is actually an easy choice for me. Stay in Haven with Steph. I know what I want. Indeed we do. And so ends, I guess, the story of Alex putting down roots in Haven, Colorado. This is where she found friends for the first time. This is where she experienced happy thoughts, happy feelings for the first time. And obviously, more important than everything, this is where she found love for the first time. 
And in the end, she gets to be exactly what she wanted to in the beginning. Just a normal girl in a normal town. Guys, thanks for watching this playthrough. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.